Okay, I think we're ready to go now. So let's close this thing. And let's see it again. Soon. In a second. Here we go. Game online. Yes. Okay. Okay. I was over here kicking some uh it's kind of ass. But now there's new things to do. Maybe I should really take my camera down a bit. Yeah. Um shall I kill you? Yeah sure. Oof, what happened to my fleet? Yes? Okay. Uh let's take a shot at that though. Mm. Okay, no one likes no one likes you. No one likes you. How about some music? Uh, let's flee. Yes, fleeing is good. Uh, let's fly to spur entry. Six you, welcome. Six you. Let's do star based thing. And do I have anything to trade? No. All the things I wanted to keep. Um, not the hypergate. My fleet. The Zivan Stalker. I don't know why I have that one. Anyway, I wanted to grab all my shit ships. Let's take this one, maybe they fix the recruiting problem. Big Scrappy Devourer, no Zenith. Uh, Devastator I like. Town Defender, Golden Frigate, another Zivan Stalker. That one costs money. So, caster, fighter, more fighter, more frigate. Yeah, all the shit ships. Please, is full. Please, is full. Okay. Now, back to Earth. The Commander will probably tell me something important. Uh, objectives. Catch or destroy the auto max. Yeah, I couldn't do it. It's he's not there. Did I even download? It should be downloaded. I have Earth Rising. Earth Rising is installed. Do I have any updates waiting? No, it's downloaded, it's complete. I should have the updates. Uh, so, standing base. Moon base. Captain, we're getting a message from Commander Megara at Deep Horizons. He has something he needs to discuss with us. Uh, let me check with the commander on Star Control, see if there's anything interesting. Welcome back, Captain. Hi. What about... Oh, thank you. Okay, so that's fixed. Keep the interceptor. The probe isn't recharged. Mm. Fine. Uh, give me the interceptor. And... The Zontar. Yeah, basic ships. Okay. Anything else, Captain? No. Do you have anything else? Go get him, Captain. Okay. Whoever or wherever M might be. Yeah, I'm gonna get M. Anyway, deep horizons. You said. No. What is deep horizons? 
the horizons in the Epsilon Trireme system, which is over there. Zoom. Bye bye. What did I leave over there? Alien settlement. Hmm. Yeah. Let's not. Let's not do that. Okay. What's on Epsilon Trireme One? A Terran colony. But that's not the Starbase. This is the Starbase. Captain, thanks for coming. No problem. Star Control has been discussing this station's recent encounters with the Kazanti and the general state of the region following the Scribe War. We have come to the conclusion that this star base, and indeed all future human outposts, must be far better defended. Voila. As humanity's ambassador, we would like you to approach some of the friendlier aliens in the area and ask them to assist with the defense of humanity's outpost here. Sure. Uh, sure. Um, why can't we do it ourselves? We can, to an extent. Our cruisers are capable. Mm -hmm. But given all we've done for the aliens in the area, Star Control <laughs> believes it's time to cash in a few favors. Obviously. The spinning is giving me a headache. <laughs> of course it does. You're a natural diplomat. Getting our allies involved at this early stage of the Deep Horizons project will have a number of benefits. The most important of which is that we can show humanity is not acting unilaterally. Aren't we? We're hardly going to stop our expansion plans if they say no. But it'd be rude not to ask first. Yeah. Star Control has suggested we begin the process with some of the friendlier aliens in the area. And not the... Uh, Tank based ones. Tank based Ever ones? will soon be arriving from some of the local civilizations. Their ships should be entering the system shortly, Captain. Oh. We'd like you to talk to them. See if you can get them to help. Okay. Uh. Take sure. care, Captain. Yeah, um. Well, what? Who? When? Ooh, Pinthy! Hi, Pinthy! Hello, old multicellular friend. You have summoned us here to ask something of us. Uh, how do you know that? Time spent in close proximity to multicellular beings has improved our ability to read their moods. Also, we have ambassadors of Earth, and we are virus, not mods. This starbase is not insignificant. Defending this starbase is fine. All Pinty respect multicellular desire to not be liquids. Attack we are less comfortable with. Attacking Scribe is fine and desirable, Slacky as well. But what is the long term goal of humans and new Starbase? Who else do you need to attack? Uh, we're not attacking anyone. Good to hear you say this. Our dropped expansion plan is still another story. But you have been good friends to Pinti. We will help you. But first, you must help with the task the Hoa has for you. Dangerous for Pinti to spend so much time around humans and other aliens. The Roa's research on ancient diplo deployments of Pinti will help make us better. Better than better. Safer. Find world in triangulum cluster where Pinti were used as weapon. Uh, sure. I think I've seen that. Yeah, probably should have logged those places. Okay. Hi. Hello, Federation member. A delightful outpost you have here. Is it everything you hoped for? Any challenges giving on any challenges living so far from the shimmering pools of Earth? Uh now that you mention it, we need help defending our new starbase here. Well mutual defense is of course an important and vital part of the Federation of Allied Species. Mutual expansion isn't. Squeak. What business does humanity have in Epsilon Trireme? Uh, 
It's a dangerous universe. We can't keep all our eggs in one basket. You lay eggs, and you keep them in baskets. I have received some grossly inaccurate information from our diplomats on Earth. But if I understand the deeper meaning of your statement, you are worried about the long-term survivability of your species. Your concerned humanity might not always be able to violently eliminate any threats it faces. But that itself is part of the issue. I'll make our concerns more transparent to you. You crushed the scribe. You all but exterminated the Xraki. Yes, the Mukei helped. We share some of the responsibility, so did many other aliens. But all can see that humanity was the driving force in that war. Humans are the most powerful group of aliens to appear in this region in centuries, maybe millennia. That you have entered into a federation with us is a welcoming sign. But if your first instinct, mere weeks after the end of one war, is to expand and consolidate your grip on power, you can see why we're troubled. It's quick. Uh, could we do anything to change your mind? Demonstrate your peaceful nature over the course of many mutually prosperous decades. Centuries will be better. That is the core of the issue. We simply don't know humanity all that well yet. Sorry, humans. If you wish to continue with your expansion plans, you will have to do so without us. We'll just be going then. Okay. Hey, Captain. I've been thinking about our mission. And as always, treachery. I think I have a way of tricking this drippy Mukei into helping us. Oh, what? We'll need a Lexite ship, though. I have one. We have those blueprints around, don't we? Let's use those to build one. Then leave it with a friend of mine in Ypsilon Indy. He'll use it to, uh, convince our tentacled friends to help us. I don't Captain, like you. I don't like the sounds of this at all. Oh, no, you wouldn't. You're not fun that way. Relax, my damn friend. No one will get hurt. I have a very bad feeling about this. Hey, hey, humans. Nice stab you got out here. Shame there is no one here to defend it. Uh, we've come to ask you for help about that because of how strong you are. You are a liar. You're not wrong, we are incredibly strong, but you don't think that. No one thinks that. Still, good for you for lying. We can respect that. So, how about this? We'll send ships to defend your weakness and starbase, and you'll pay us lots of money. Sounds good, yes? Uh, how much do you mean by lots of money? Mm, let's say 20,000. That is an incredibly good deal. Uh... How about you just pay us back for saving your ass? That's already done though. You should have asked for that reward before freeing us from the sky. You would be a terrible mech mech. Is there any other way we could get your help? Oh, never mind, I clicked the wrong button. Uh, that actually worked. <laughs> you certainly paid up, and a lot too, so fine. We will send ships and mech mech and these dropping devices here right away. These dropping devices? Don't even mind those, you won't notice them at all. <sighs> Fine, I have the money. Taiwan! What? Taiwan? What about the... the... those little guys? I forgot. It's you! The bestest of our best friends! Thanks for calling us out here. What, what can we do for you? Uh... We've come to ask a favor. Wait. No, we've come to ask a favor. Anything for our best friends. Maybe not anything. It really depends on the thing in question, I suppose. I'll stop talking. We need some assistance defending our new starbase here. Defend it for what? The sky will know where to be seen. The Xraki are gone. Unless you've made some new enemies, which is very you, Earth is safe. Earth is safe. For that matter, why have you expanded here at all? Despite your best efforts, Earth remains pretty damp and livable. Uh, you expanded. Why did you do it? We were told to. Shortly after the scribe made us the worlds, they dragged Tyrone in great number to various undesirable worlds in the vicinity. On many of those worlds, we died immediately. 
The ones we didn't, well, those became our first and most cherished colonies. Still, that's a good point. We expanded. So has everyone else, in one form or another. There's just something about sentient life which makes it want to spread out and goop up new places. It's actually the gooping up that's the problem, though. You can see our concern. As good of friends as humans have been to the Taiwan, not everyone else in the galaxy feels the same way. We don't want to inflict you upon them. Or at least we don't want to get blamed for it. And I know what you're going to say. You've been good friends to us. We should probably help you in return. But have you actually been good friends to us? Yes, very. I'm offended you'd even doubt that. Well, how about you prove it? I'll ask you a series of fun and challenging questions about the Taiwan and Taiwan related matters. A really good friend of ours would know the answers to all of these. Ready? Uh, what is the name of our homeworld? Taiwomia. Right. How many types of plants are on our homeworld? Um, none, they all left. That was actually a trick question. It was all the animals that left. Because they hated us. Womp womp. Final question. What was our role in the Scribe Empire? Uh, you were in charge of stickiness. You were just there to get shot at and stepped on. There certainly was a lot of that, but no, that's wrong. So let's see how you did here. Well, you didn't get everything wrong. Though when we compare your score to some of the other aliens in this region, we can see that the Scribe actually know more about us than you do. And are thus better friends to us than you. Which seems unlikely, but it's hard to deny the science. The good news for you is that the, this has only emboldened us to make you better friends by spending more time with you. So yes, we will help. Thank you. After you do one more thing for us. We lost a ship in the Theta Trireme B system. We need you to recover its cargo and take it to its destination on Ashogus around Bernard's Star. I know this sounds impossibly trivial, the kind of thing we could and indeed should easily do ourselves. But that's part of the fun of being friends with the Taiwan people. We're messy like that. Uh, what's on this ship? I'm honestly not sure. They wouldn't tell me. It sounds exciting, which means it probably won't be. Still, what if it is? It won't be done. Anyways, we'll wait here for your return. Okay, I'm not going to trick them, okay? Captain, I have a request for you. Kinky are close to a breakthrough in their constant struggle to not liquefy other sentient beings. That's what your emissary said. The final step requires sample of old Kinky attack from earliest deployment by Scribe. Kinky vectors were sent to Triangulum Cluster to search for it. Please travel to Alpha Triangulum B and meet local in the contact. Thank you for giving me the address. Um, that's the proper deal. What about... What about... the... the Maulings, or the Greek Rocks, even the Measured... or maybe not the Measured. Definitely not the Famished. Okay. Objectives. Meet Pinthi in Upper Triangulum B. First, Theta Trireme B. Uh, Theta Trireme B. Okay. Theta Trireme B. Yeah, isn't this ship the most powerful one in the galaxy right now? Or at least in the sector. Uh, local Pinthy contact. Roger. Oh, Taiwan Fredo. Right. This looks like the freighter the Taiwan emissary told us about. No sign of the crew. The skate pods are all missing, so maybe they got away. Computer here suggests they were boarded by a Kazanti raider. I hate those guys. We're in the cargo bay now, and it doesn't look like anything is missing. Do I dare open one of these crates? Open one. I dare. Well, that's weird. It's furniture. Chairs, couches, rugs. But like human furniture. I can't imagine any of this stuff existing on Taiwomia. It'd all get gooped up. Well, 
we'll load it all up now. That's the job, right? The weird, weird job. Yeah. But we do it anyway. Okay. Back to Epsilon Triring. So, found your wheel cargo. Care to explain? Go back! Have you found our last ship in Theta Trairi B yet? We have, but we haven't taken this cargo to Burn on Star yet. Well, maybe you should do that. That'll be the most fun part. We'll wait here for your return. Fine! Uh, return to our power to the facility and plant Ashogus in the Bernard Star system. Which one is a Shogus? That one. Why? Why am I going there? Welcome, we heard you were coming. Thanks for bringing this cargo, we needed to finish the next phase of construction. I can't tell you how exciting it is to have actual humans visiting us. Yeah, you could say we've been preparing for this day for as long as this facility has existed. Uh, what is this place? This is the latest in a series of friendship training centers. Here, Taiwan learned how to interact with aliens in a friendly, not overbearing, in friendly, not overbearing ways. To fully immerse our students, we create environments that parallel those found on alien homeworlds, and wear human suits. Uh, what was that about suits? Our instructors wear rubber suits in the shape of your bodies so that our students can practice interacting with humans. Well, rubber and latex. Oh yeah, we've got murderers who wear those. And these murderers, they're the most loved and respected members of your society. No. Because of the murdering? Yeah, it's probably that. Well, you'll be glad to know we don't do any murdering when we dress up as humans. Though the urge does seem to grow for some reason. We'll be going now. Yeah, I want to go. You don't want to stay and hang out at the weirdly detailed replica of your childhood home we for some reason have. You should take one of our human suits to remember us by. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna stay far, far away from that. Thank you. Friendship training center. Okay. Uh, what did we say? We said Alpha Triangulum B. Go. And I'll let us scribe on these systems. Is that my local contact? Zontar? Hi! Hello, Star Terror. Have you come to partake in our Kingdom ritual? The what now? The Kingdom ritual. It is sometimes a joyous ceremony of uncertainty. Also, we think. What does the ritual involve? We are not sure. There are many different interpretations of the doctrine. Why do you celebrate the ritual about uncertainty? 
because the best of everything in life is the result of random chance and coincidence, although that isn't always the case. What's special about this star system for the ritual? We are deep in scribe territory, the risk of vaporization is present but not certain. For all of our history, arriving here would have been a guaranteed slaughter. The system is now in a state of uncertainty, perfect for the ritual. Okay, so you risk death for this festival. But what is death if not the passing of life due to agonizing circumstance? Yeah, that's exactly my point. Is it? Yes. Very well. What else would you like to know? Um, uh, perhaps, um, would you like to join in the Kino ritual? I'm not sure, maybe? Ah, you speak with much wisdom. It appears you have already taken your first figurative foot movement towards completing the Kino ritual. Do you feel liberated and uplifted from the shackles of authority and assurance? As a congratulations, take this gift from our people. Okay. Thank you, I guess. You're weird. C can I talk to you a minute? A bit longer? Excuse me. Hi. Uh, you know, you have uh, reducing the uncertainty. Please stop doing that. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, there we go. Here's the painting. Humans are here. Always nice to see largely non-hostile multicellular beings. Uh, largely, but not entirely. Uh, we were sent to meet you. Yes, of course. We are some many Pinti sent here to help the Roar search for Pinti cure to end unwanted liquefaction, but then bad things happen as they do. We found source of original Pinti attack in Beta Triagulum A, but Pinti vectors could not contain new code. Pinti who contacted original samples go mad. They attack everyone now. Please get Pinti cured and cure Pinti using Pinti cure. Apologies if there was a better way to say that. Or just destroy mad Pinti, but that is less preferable. When that is done, or perhaps before that is done, there is another issue you can help us with. The bad things you see, they keep happening. Pinti vectors were attacked by unknown ship in the Kara system. Unknown ship was destroyed, but also many Pinti. The ship was powerful, used technology not previously employed by other multicellular constructs, technology that may be usable for controlling Pinti dispersal in safer and also more effective ways. If you gather the ship wreckage for us, we will attempt to implement technology on Pinti vectors. Could be useful weapon. Okay, thank you, human. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Cure destroy three inspected Pinty ships in the Tigerland cluster. Collect three crash ships, parts, and Kara. Sample original Pinty attack in Beta Triangulum A. Do I have the Pinty cure already? I think I do. Atomic rifle. The last I don't have it. Pretty sure I did have it. What was that? Garage system. Okay, apparently I left something open on the last one. Twisting space. What was that? That was a system search for the item of interest. 
Okay. Didn't I? Is that another crash chip? L. Uh, jump. Uh, jump. How did I jump? Yeah, that's the jump button. So jump. So jump. Fine. Well, dead X Racky. Don't know what I expected. It's still a recognizable ship, though. Controls, life support, that kind of stuff. No Eldritch horrors, anyway. That's a good thing. The computer is functioning, and okay. The records from the moment the ship emerged from the origin are perfectly legible. The good. records from before that are really weird. Before is even the wrong word. There's something screwy going on with the timestamps here. But it seems like on the other side of the origin, the Xraki were permitted to live in some kind of island of relative normality. A bubble of order, beyond which lay a chaos. But that chaos regularly intruded upon the Xraki and consumed them. No real record of how the Xraki felt about that. I'd normally go with mixed feelings, but maybe they were cool with it. Well, that's all been fascinating. We'll see if we can get this ship flying now. What? You got a thing flying? Uh, leave the planet. Check my missions. This is cleared. All cleared. I will not build the Lexite Interceptor so you can f mess with the Mukei. Uh, let's go back to the Triangulum Cluster. I'm gonna try that. No, I'm going to try uh, the car system. Okay, that was a long way away. Okay, wreckage. I'm guessing it's on planets. <coughs> okay, it's on one planet. Yeah, wreckage. Dangerous planets. Gotcha. That's a crashed Xaki. Got some wreckage here, Captain. This is a description of the ship which attacked the Pinthi in this area. We'll load it up into the lander now. The whole ship. Yeah, that was a Lexite dude. Got some wreckage here, Captain. This matches the description of the ship which attacked the Pinthi in this area. We'll load it up into the lander now. Yep. Got some wreckage here, Captain. This match is will load it up into the lander now. Okay, kill the triangle and pin the triangle and B is my last stop. Let's try those guys. Let's save in case something goes wrong.
Ooh, that's a big ship. Hi. Hi. Multicellular construct detected. Cells not currently filled with panty. All cells must be filled with panty. Addressing that now. I'd rather you didn't, we're here to help. Now, attacking multicellular construct now. Fine, kill the Zondal. Are you doing anything? When does the Pinty have a speed burst? Oh, it self destructs. What? Nice to meet you. How do I resolve this? Well, if you're gonna self-destruct, then self-destruct. What's that? This is it. World shows all markers for ancient Pinti deployment. Still traces of old strains detectable. Don thick suits and descend to planet, please. Okay, I'll do that without killing your friends. How about that? Hi, I'm here. Come get me. Fine, you're slow. This is it. Yes. And lots of drones. Whoa, 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 These are the ruins Baroa wanted us to investigate, Captain. We'll gather the samples he, she, they wanted. Well, that was terrifying. We'll head back to the ship now. Yes, please. Too many drones. And we'll get out of here. Thank you very much. Whoa, Lexite. What do you want? You are studying the Yes. Trying to gain their strength. No. Or finding a way to kill them. Finding a way to help them. Why are you attacking us? If you don't understand this, you never will. But you will try to understand. Try to fill the void in your skulls. The hopeless past. And that is why we will stop you. We will stop you from perfecting the Pinty. The galaxy will not thank us for this. But it should. Why are you so keen? We're here to help the Pente. Why are you so keen on stopping us? You are like the virus yourself, spreading everywhere, infecting everything. Aliens around the region are swept up by your madness. But you don't see yet how your reliances will become an anchor. We do. We will see to it. We will stop you, so we might live. Okay, let's see what you got. Lexite Valkyrie. Triple Bolt. Lexite Turret. Great, new weapons.
Is that thing tracking me? Let's fight. Sure. Damn it. Fight. My fleet is stronger, you're not going to win. Like sight lancer. Persistent missile and point defense. Okay. We can deal with that. Okay, it's too strong. <clears throat> Let's try a Volsum Frigate. Damn! Okay. <coughs> Power regeneration is shit. Let's do the caster. How'd you like that? Damn it. Aim. How'd you like my death eye? Thank you. Healthy human captain. <laughs> this is big step towards finding cure. You have done a great thing for the Pinpi, and by extension, all who do not want to be violently turned into Pinpi. With this, Pinpi will become less deadly and consequently more useful to you. Next visit to Starbase, you find new Pin B vessel available. We can hit much harder now. And totally ethical, too. Uh huh. Can you come over here? No? Harder and more ethically. Let me guess, a ton more drones? A, s a crashed measured? We're back at that wrecked spaceship, Cap. Not much more we can do here. That's not my target. Getting Pinty Cure. We have the cash ship parts. Well done, humans. We will synthesize new Pinty hybrid ship utilizing this technology. You can request them on your next visit to Starbase or anywhere else you shop for bioweapon delivery vectors. Pinty hybrid schematics. Will that help me fix the Pinty without killing them? Okay, close to Starbase, spur entry. Let's 
per entry. Okay. Per entry. What's going on? Let's do stubby things. Pinty strain H2ND. Pinty hybrid. Extraki abomination. What the hell is that thing? Singularity missile and perimeter shot. I'll save you for later. Pinty hybrid. Pinty strain H2 and D. Suck a devour and give me another gloosh and I think that's all the small ones. Nope. Another patroller and I'm full. Uh, okay. So the Pinty Hybrid, Infection, Charged, and has Shield. The Pinty Strain, Mass Infect, and Contagion. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to do this, but let's find out. Is there anything else? No, six seal. Exception, simple fail one, not found. That's okay, we love you anyway. Just don't die on me. Hi. Multicellular constructs detected. Co cells not currently filled with Pinty. All cells must be filled with Pinty. Addressing that now. We have the cure! No. Applied cure. Um, multicellular construct will no longer end existences. That's good news. I value our existences. Yes, thank you, human. Confusing memories flood us. Difficult sensations. We feel we have done much violence. With an E. We'll go to Pinty Supercluster. Consult Pinty there. Awesome! Next. Mm hmm. Accidental liquidification protocol as well. Integrator begin spread protocol. We have a queue. Apply queue. Cease spread protocol. Also, cease accidental liquidification protocol. You're welcome. And last one's over here. Mm-hmm. Excellent host site for PMT micro colonies. Begin spread protocol. Ceasing spread protocol. Good. Glad we cleared that one up. Alpha triangle and B. Okay, they want to report. Let's do that. Let's do that manually. Hey, Varroa. Hey, 
Hello. Well done, human, on getting pin secure. We've dealt with infected pin thing. Good news. We are so glad. Thank you for curing pin vectors and not blowing up pin vectors. Thank take this strong pin vector as our reward. <coughs> A pin epidemic. What is that? I'll find out later. Uh Return to Emissary in Triangulum Cluster, Epsilon Trireme. Do I have any more Sky S to kick? This is where most of them are, right? No, this is empty. This is where most of them are. Let's save in case of bullshit. Oh, hello. I'll just start fight it. Let's start. Just start a fight. Okay, the Galoosh Dangler has a focal laser and a de energizer bolt. Damn, it's powerful. That's it, it just stops them. Ah, that hurts. I hope that the energizer bolt would sap their energy. It's a neat ship with awful turning and acceleration. Just awful. So let's see how you like <coughs> our new Pinty. Damn. Okay. It's cute against smaller ships, probably. Let's look at the hybrid. They've taken over... Taken over the Lexite ship. Oof. That's why they have shield. That's a neat concept. I like this concept, it's insane. And it's much more maneuverable. It's maneuverable like a leg sight. Wow. I hate it that you can just move around when you do that.
Okay, shield couldn't, couldn't hold on so long. What else do we have? Sure, let's toss the caster at that. And that's what I thought would happen. Yeah, it does that. Okay, let's do that again. Yeah, before we go and mess with some old scribe, let's just get the hell out of there. Bye bye. So much speed. More speed! Huh. Right, pin the person. You are back. Your assistance helping Varro and all pin the is appreciated. It will be a long quest to make Pinthi better. Glad you are helping. One more request first. Data you gathered and provided to Varroa. You must delete all copies of it. Information can be used to make Pinthi better. Information can also be used to make Pinthi much, much worse. Here's a request for you. You do not want to build bioweapons yourself. Do you? Of course we'll delete it. Thank you. You are a good and true friend. Strange ships supposed you when you sought this data for us. Much danger in the galaxy still. We will help each other defend ourselves against it. Our ships will arrive in Epsilon Trireme shortly. Ambassadors too. We will wage peace together. Pinti and human multicellular beings. Uh, sure. You know what? No, I'm not going to be the asshole. Who ends up saving bioweapons? This huge, 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 huge orbit. Yeah, do not land on stars. That is weird. Okay. Taiwan. Did your thing. You're back. Have you found our last ship in Theta Trireme B yet? Well done. Great. Time of defense cruisers should arrive here shortly, even momentarily. Like they were creepily waiting nearby for precisely this moment. We'll also send some diplomats and military advisors to the station itself. Not only will this allow for more opportunities for cross species information exchange, it will get those ambassadors and military advisors out of the house for a bit. Which, frankly, they need. Uh, thank you. No trouble, best friends. Well, some trouble. Minimal trouble. Medium trouble? I am not tricking the Muke. Forget it. Hmm. So 
Wookie won't help. I get others to help. I have enough friends. Not the Menkmac. Be poisons. What happened now? What happened now? Ah. Ah. Some new engine. Okay, go to base, talk to base. Well done, Captain. I'm sure you've seen some more of our ally ships patrolling the outskirts of the system. Ambassadors and other diplomatic envoys have also arrived and shared with us a number of new starship designs we can begin constructing. Cool. We'll also be able to resupply their crew members when their ships dock here. Cool. It will be a bit of a balancing act, keeping everyone happy and involved. Without ceding too much control to them, obviously. But that's my job, not yours. A shame we couldn't get the Muke involved. I thought they'd be one of the easier asks. Yeah. Easier than the Mekmac, anyways. Well, the Mekmac just want money. And Star Control has been discussing your interactions with the Pinty. No one's a fan of you destroying data. But we'll trust your judgment on the matter. You're the expert on Pinty relations, after all. On that note, Captain, I have another task for you. What? For all our recent advances, humanity is still far behind the technological level of other aliens in the sector. It's imperative we catch up as soon as possible. See what you can do about getting your hands on any new advanced weapons or technology. It could make the difference if we get dragged into another conflict. Uh, I've got the most advanced ship in the sector. So we got the Menkmac Charlatan and the Menkmac Scoundrel, a new Pinty Infection, a Pinty Epidemic, an Exaki Abomination. Okay, um, that's cool. Drop the frigate, drop the other frigate, drop the caster, give me one Charlatan. One scoundrel, one infection, and dump this, and one epidemic. Oh, we got new Taiwan as well. Okay, remove these. So, a Taiwan observer. Oh, we got another epidemic. Uh, and a Taiwan battle cruiser. Sucky abomination. Okay, so what do we have? The epidemic is contagion reinforcements. Interesting. Uh, the observer has a beam carver and a shield. Ugh. The battle cruiser has a Taiwan heavy boat. And drones. Really? Oh yeah, same drones. The charlatan has proximity mines and a shield. The infection has caustic spray and contagion. The epidemic has contagion reinforcements. The scoundrel has torpedo and salvage. Okay, I guess that's my fleet for a little while. Is there anything I can help you with? Stop spinning. Take care, Captain. Okay, so anything specific about advanced weaponry? No? Okay, I guess that was part two of Uprising. Maybe I can fix the Delta Max problem. 
let's go talk to them again. So you're looking for deadly new toys, eh, Captain? I can help with that. There's a thing you're going to want to look at. A treasure thing. Great treasure. Dangerous treasure. The thing is, there are super powerful alien vessels guarding it, who will kill us if they so much as smell us. So, we should not be smelled. First, I'd suggest you visit the planet Dripson 7 in the Dripson system. There's someone there who can help us. He's, a uh, touchy, though. Because of various transgressions my people may or may not have made. So, uh, heads up. Okay, I guess we're not done. Anyway, I want to talk to these guys again. Supply dialogue objective statement with supplemental information exchange authorization form following process V38967.3. Permission to engage in interspecies dialogue H3 small talk class. Granted. We have received interesting news. The scribe, they have broken off communications with us. Uh, that's the most interesting thing you've heard? Yes. You stopping an existential threat is also interesting. Just less interesting. If the scribe are not communicating with us, it means we are alone. It means we are no longer part of the Empire. Fortunately, we have a protocol for this. Good. Of course you do. We will decide what to do for ourselves. And that decision is, we will keep records. Seems a good fit for you. <laughs> Thinking what well within the box there, guys. The emergence of humanity has been the most interesting thing to happen in recent history. Thank you. We will continue to document you and your victory over the Xraki. Self-permission granted to thank you for providing us this opportunity. Thank you for providing us this opportunity. You're welcome. Uh, we found some more records for you. Curious. These records appear to have been a part of a set. File structure analysis indicates they contained four elements in total. Oh, you have already uncovered all the elements. We shall begin unpacking them at once. Interesting. This set of records mostly relate to the story of the scribe's first encounter with an aquatic species called the Lalani. We have recorded scraps of this species before. The scribe encountered them some seven millennia ago. Like many species from that era, they opposed the scribe. They did not want the responsibility of civilization. The Lalani were disgusting, worse, disorganized. That a civilization such as theirs reached the stars astonished the scribe. Uh, they don't sound so bad. Perhaps. But please, accept this reward for providing these to us. Okay. Ah, you have another set of records. These records tell the story of how the Lalani eventually crumbled, as all who oppose the scribe eventually must. In their wisdom, the scribe began trading a mild narcotic to the Lalani. A simple thing. They've done this many times before with lesser species. Classy. It is not for you to judge. It is not for anyone but the scribe to judge. But please, accept this reward for providing these to us. Ah. You have another this, set of records. This you pay nicely. These records depict the complete collapse of Lalani society. The slovenly Lalani found the drug the scribe gave them irresistible. All became addicted. The Lalani evidently weren't one species, but a collective of symbiotic aquatic beings. When one fell prey to the poison, all were affected. They lived as one and fell as one. Your bosses are monsters, you know that, right? You are not qualified to pass judgment on the scribe. But please, accept this reward for providing these to us. Ah, you have another set of records. 
this appears to be the last set of records. They explain how the scribe rescued the Lalani, dragged them into the light of civilization, educated and nurtured and bred them into something better. These records were assembled by a distant outpost of free Lalani, isolated from the addiction. They feared their despicable culture would be forgotten. They contain samples of their genetic material and artifacts of their culture, pitiful compared to the glory of the scribe. However, we will log it all. It closes a discrepancy. Glad we could help. Oh no. No, 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 no. This is impossible. Lalani genetic material matches our own to 99.3%. We are the Lalani. What? The scribe humiliated us, made an example of us. They used the drugs to turn the surviving Lalani into their exact opposite. They turned us into bookkeepers. Then forced us to forget our own name. It was a joke to them. The drug, traces of it lie everywhere in our structure. This has long been another discrepancy. Do the scribe still do this to us? What are we? Humans, you have been open and honest with us. Filling a discrepancy alone is a great gift, but you have done more. We will order all our vessels to defer any enforcement actions against you. Thank you. Concerning the rest, we have much to digest. Give us time. So you don't want me to do bounties? Welcome, returning Lev to visiting scholar. What information do you require? Uh No. So you're not going to tell me where it is. I forgot where it is. That's a mowling. This is empty. That's enough. Another mauling, that's another mauling, another mauling. What did I miss? Oh, mauling. I like the mauling music.
more rollings, more rollings. Well, I guess that contract stays open. Planet Drip Scene 7. That's a far way away. Drip scene seven. That's five B. That's drip scene seven. Ooh, another genius patrol has arrived. What do you want? Ooh, another genius patrol. I know, that is obvious. Your ship is not the work of a genius, or even someone who has set me a genius. Well, we tried our best. And that's what makes it so funny. But now you're starting to waste my time. People do not find me by accident. Someone told you about me, didn't they? A Mac Mag, if I'm not mistaken. You're the latest dupe, then. Dupe? I will explain, in small words, so you can follow. I once asked the Mac Mag to help me with something. I did not know them yet. In retrospect, I could not have chosen anyone worse. <coughs> but I was pressed for time. Someone had to stop the harmony. Oh ho! You know about them. Not many do. And they are where my story really begins. Decades ago, my people, the Ambro, took our first steps into space. Suddenly, strange creatures called the harmony appeared in the skies above our heads. Never learned where they came from, nor their purpose. If they wanted to exterminate us, they did it slowly. But they were relentless. Even when we took to the stars, they pursued us. Some of them fled, like myself, in a ship of my own design. Alone, I could evade them. And alone, I, with the greatest, handsomest mind the Earth had ever seen, worked on a plan to stop them. After many years, I did. I carried a device capable of nullifying the Harmony's most powerful weapons. But my ship had been damaged in my flight. I had no way of deploying this new weapon. Which is how I ended up hailing a passing Mech Mech trader. This device, I said, is a powerful weapon. Return it to my people. When how many are defeated, they should reward you a great treasure. And they predictably betrayed you. They did. They took the nullifier and did nothing. Well, they probably broke it. They could sense its value, though, and my desperation. Periodically, they would send some more Mac Mac to me to ask for new nullifiers. I caught on to the plot too slowly, and even when I did, they began sending confederates. You are the eighth such being to come here on such a quest for them. Uh, we're close to the Mac Mac, but not that close. Sure, the tears of this business has left me understandably wary. And more than that, I can no longer help. My supplies are depleted. The nullifier and any other device I forged requires technology only my people once had. If you do wish to help me, you could recover more supplies for me. Or perhaps you do not wish to help. Perhaps you are aroused by the thought of treasure. Here, to the, here too, the process is the same. I was not the first to flee. When the people fled the harmony, the forerunners left behind caches for those coming after. Search the cudgel cluster, you will surely find some of those caches there. I will need at least two of them. Return to me with them and we can talk. So, you were assholes. How surprising. Asshole Netflix. So, we got a trader here. And we got a planet with some interest. Ruins. Some ruins here. 
Thousands of years old, at least. Nothing but dust inside. We found what looks like an old emergency beacon. Should be able to power it up again. Okay. It's a loop. The story of a conflict with a race that sounds a lot like the Scribe. The Scribe apparently launched a rock of some kind at this planet. Within days, everyone on this world began to get sick. Filthy. I think I know what the dust is now, Captain. We're, uh, we're gonna go now. So not this one. Nothing else? Okay. Next cudgel. What do we have here? Unidentified stock show. This looks like one of those supply caches the strange alien and Dipson told us about, Captain. Doesn't look like the Harmony have found it. We'll take what we need and go. Who the hell are the Harmony and how do I kill them? Chip. That's a Jeff. We're back at that strange looking ship. Does this look a bit like Jeff's ship? Or merely a lot like Jeff's ship? There's nothing inside. Like, not even an empty room. Just the complete absence of objects and space. It's kind of calming. Nothing we can take, though. Not even any controls for us to try hotwiring the thing. Yeah, that's where we found the Jeff. Hi, Sky. Unidentified structure. What was Sky doing all the way out here? This looks like a scribe facility, Captain. Unmanned. I'd say a data center. Everything in here is encrypted, though. Won't be of much use to us. Not much more we can do here. We'll go. Download everything and we'll crack it later. Okay, let's make another go at it. Structure. There we go. This looks like one of those. Doesn't look like the harm. We'll take what we need and go. Cool. He said just there. Okay, let's kill this guy. That's all the caches the Amor asked us to find, Captain. We should head back to the Dripson system now. 
human, stay your weapons. I have not come to challenge you. You're finally going to stop attacking us because we saved everyone from the exciting? No. That's rather out of my hands. I have made a grave error. One I need your help to fix. Why would we help you after all the scribe have done to us? Because you are generous, benevolent beings. Even scribe can make jokes, human. If I did not know it from your history or from your question, you are ruled by self-interest. Fair enough. So are we. So my deal is this. If you assist me, I will join those who now lobby Scrivener seat for a change in our relations with humans. With me as your ally, perhaps the scribe could look past some of your savagery, enough to allow you to continue to exist at least. What do you need? There is a scribe facility on Data Kajo 2. It contains data about some of my recent activities that were dishonorable. It may be hard for your kind to fathom such a concept, but we scribe place a great emphasis on honor. Within the facility lies many data cores, one in particular is my concern, but I lack the means to collect it from the planet's surface myself. I will provide you instructions on how to find it within the facility. Bring it to me. The contents of that data core cannot be discovered by my superiors. What did you do? You would not understand, mortal. I am not being glib. My people live for thousands of years. Our existence is filled with endless potential for glory. It also means we sometimes run out of things to talk about. The most brilliant artisans among us developed a cure for this condition. A special agent which upon consumption provides a temporary reduction of inhibition. This powerful technology allows for ease of fraternization and courtship among our kind. However, a recent encounter with this agent did not go as planned. Too much was consumed, and the rest are details you are unworthy of hearing. So you got drunk and did something stupid. Do not patronize me. Our culture is enlightened and vast beyond your comprehension. Sure. Sure. Will you assist me, or will I now have to destroy you? Yeah, we'll get the data call for you. Good. I will be waiting. You got drunk and did something stupid, did you? You did. You did. You did it. Just admit it. Damn, that's a lot of drop frames. Scribe data center. Here's the data core that Scribe Leggett was looking for. No way for us to read it, I'm afraid. Dang. Probably full of juicy, monstrous Scribe gossip. Well, we can still load it up into the lander at least. Okay. Did a favor for Scribe, I guess. And we can just book it if we want. Where'd you put it? Good. Empty brain cancer. Hmm. <sighs> Identical. You return, human. Is the data core in your position? Yeah, we have it. Good. The crisis has been averted. Okay. Thank you for serving a useful purpose, human. As promised, we'll put in a good world for your kind. A world I will hastily remove if you ever speak of this. Yo, weird. Yeah, 
Damn, there's a lot of drop frames. Hang on a second. Those are a lot of drop frames. Flames to network. Mm. Well, the recording is fine, so I'll upload the recording at least. Okay. Wait, what is that? No one should be here. Mink back. You're back. Have you found the supplies? Or do you simply wish to waste more of my time? Go right here. You do. You're not simply wasting more of my time. Send it to me right away. You really did it. Was well, driven by a genuine desire to help or a base thirst for treasure, you have done it. As promised, I will present you with a weapon. Two weapons to be precise. The first is simple, as befits your kind. It is a powerful missile. I'm sure you can find many applications for it. The Destiny missile. The second is what I spoke of before, a Neolifier. With it aboard your ship, the Harmony's heavy cruisers will be disabled, at least for a time. Journey to Theta Nemnowitz A1, the home of my people, find the survivors and provide them the Neolifier. Show them they no longer need fear the Harmony. I think I'd better equip it first. Just because I'm sure I'll get hounded by how many ships? Trader! Trader! Yes, I'm also pleased I'm alive. Okay, instead of heavy touching plasma, destiny missile, a powerful, a bit slow moving missile which never fails to hit its target. Interesting. Wait a bit. No, I can't equip it. Super nuclear missile. Okay. Uh, sell the drones, sell the silver, the silicon, the ozone, the manganese, and the methane, and the terbium. And yeah. Okay. Okay. So I have the ultimate widget. I have what is it? A rubber human suit. Nullifier. The rest of it by the arm roll, it slows and dampens the power of any harmony ships. Nemo something. Nai Manowitz. Naj. Which one? It's Theta. A or B? A1. Theta. Naj Manowitz. A1. That's not the far away. Eh? 
Would the left side interfere? Again. Of course, we have how many ships here? Fleets of how many ships? They are huge. Fine, let's do this first. Captain, this Harmony vessel was suddenly disabled when it approached us. Probably because of that nullifier device we're lugging around. We should leave before we risk it powering up again. Huh. So that's how it goes? Okay. Weird. Uh... Where are you guys? I could shoot them and be done with it. More ruins, Captain. An archive, if I'm not mistaken. I'm sure we'll find some clues in here. But you can probably see the big picture from up there, Captain. The Amror are no more. But I don't think the Amror we've been dealing with has been entirely honest with us. No. It looks like the Harmony and the Amror are one and the same. What? Or more accurately. The Harmony were a creation of the Amror, fighting machines who rebelled against their masters. Even the Amror seem a little confused by their appearance, though. The work of a single lone madman, it seems. Sound like anyone we know? We'll take copies of what we found. Right. Might be time to take a return trip to our Amror friend. Great. Actually, it reminds me of the Luxites. And yeah, of course, yeah. See how many of robots. Of course, you can nullify them. Have you done it? Have you visited my people's home? We have. And too long I tarried, too long I stood in my own cowardice. Too long I wasted my time with those accursed Micmac, and you accursed whatever you are. And now of course you know the truth. The Harmony are not just any monsters, they are our own. Worse, they are my own, my creation. Beings meant to do errands for me, fight my battles for me, provide the friendship with the other and will refuse to provide me. The secret should have stayed with me. I should have done this task myself. Should have shown some small degree of courage. It is settled. I will end the harmony. A hopeless errand. They have become so powerful in my absence. But a hopeless errand is all I deserve. Return to me the nullifier. When I am ready, I will deal with the harmony myself. Uh, I'm kind of hoping we could keep that. Makes shooting these guys a lot easier. What in the ship of travel? I conceal one thing from you. Could I not conceal another? I have a ship, a powerful one. I would not use it, could not face my people, could not face the shame. That won't be a problem anymore. Return it off out of me now. Kinda hoping we could keep that, makes shooting these guys a lot easier. Then you are a thief. A being ruled by self-interest above all things. The weapons I have already provided are the work of a great mind. My mind. I have others, I will use them on you. Return it off out of me now. Fine, take this sort of thing. However, reluctantly, you have done the right thing. You have my thanks. I will have my revenge against the harmony in time. But I am not a fool. I am alone, without peers. Human, I wish to join your fleet. I trust I will do more damage alongside your kind and alone. Let's move on from this dreaded place. Okay. Let's see about that.
Captain, we're getting another message from Commander Megara at Deep Horizons. There have been more attacks on the station. We need to get there right away. Give me a second. Dump the... The... What are Amro Exile. Heavy tracking plasma, laser ribbon bowler. I have those. You're not so special. You can stay back. So you gave me a destiny missile and using using the previous weapon I, I had. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through, excuse me, excuse me. Yeah, fight the sites. Right? What do you think you're doing? I just wanted to talk. Like site probe. Where the hell did you go? Later. Collect more of these things. Just because you can cloak, like sight scorpion, real blast, hunting missile. Well, I have point defense, asshole. to recharge Don't you run away from me. You should not have found us. Attack it now. Don't you run away from me. And I'm beating you with a junk ship. Are you getting this?
Ouch. Well, not enough power. <coughs> Let's put a uh, epidemic on you. Uh, those things nasty. So this is a this is a battle cruiser. <laughs> okay. Dealt with those, I guess. Damn it. I'm moving too fast. Okay, thank the Pinthy, we got this done. Well, Captain, it looks like we established our new defensive arrangement for Deep Horizons just in time. Someone's attacked us, using chips that looked a lot like those Lexite ships you spotted in the caster system. The attacks have been minor so far, nothing against the station directly just probing our new defensive fleets. But as those defensive fleets are mostly comprised of our alien allies, it's they who have suffered most of the losses, which has led to tensions around here. You would not believe how dry and scaly the Taiwan around here are. Mm. Our attackers have come from all points of the compass so far, so I don't have any leads for you to pursue. You might try talking to the Menkmak ship in orbit around Canberra. They engage the last wave. Sure. Take care, Captain. Get get away. We need to defend it. So to a good. Okay. But I paid you. Wasn't that part of the arrangement? Hey, wow, the human captain who brought us into this mess. You're not a popular figure around here these days. You actually weren't that popular around here any the other day, honestly. We think about humans very little. But definitely less popular now. Oh boy. Uh, I'm sorry for your losses. And I'm not so sure you are. I mean, what else can you say? I suppose you want to find the guys who did this. You want to make it right, do justice, be the hero. Well, hero, I have some good news for you then. The last two ships of attacks had a survivor. One of our mines has clipped its engine, though. It's been leaking ions ever since it left this system. We took a loop out of the system to see where it went. I'm pretty sure the ship ended up in Gamma Ymir. Good luck making them pay, delightful human captain.
I didn't get to play out for so long. Okay, that's a treasure planet. That's a mink back ship. Hi, Xanti fighter. Cancel all repairs to Hyperlife systems. They are now too late to do any good. They're right too late. Yes, that's exactly what I said. I suppose you want to know how we ended up stuck here after attacking you and everything you hold dear. I'd want to know. Well, the answer is they paid us. A lot of money. It's not a long story. I'm not sure how the attack played out. We fled before we could see. A lot less of our uh, friends returned and set out. So I guess the battle went good for you guys. We're not also not sure why they fled the system. Or why they crippled our hyperdive engines before they went. So yeah, mysteries. We've got a few. Did the Lexite do this? Not an expert on human history because I really don't care about it. But I believe the answer is yes. These are the Lexites who once came for your home, from your home. They don't call themselves that though. The ones we've been dealing with refer themselves as the rear guard. Get out of here. Stop cooperating with these guys. Forgiving us after the number of times we've attacked and betrayed you is uh, probably stupid. But it is appreciated. Before we go, we should check out the planet Brimsas. The Lexites were up to something now. Okay, it's a treasure hunt. That's princess. So what are they doing? And they obviously left this for us. Drones excluded. This must be what that Kazanti was telling us about. Looks like a ship repair facility. A former ship repair facility. Almost everything here has been surgically destroyed. Microcharges have blown the guts out of just about everything of value. Wait, here's one that didn't go off. I'll have a look. Without getting too close to it. it looks like a refueling drone. We've got hundreds of these back home. Not even worth hauling back to the ship. But there are logs here. This thing came from another facility in Alpha Tigris. Our next stop, Captain? Unless this is a trap. Obviously, this chef. does feel vaguely like a trap. Your call, Captain. Obviously, a chef, but we're going anyway. And I go. Oh, that's a scribe phalanx. Yes, we've done this many times before. Just admit it, the pinty are awesome. Who wants? I probably already visited. Okay. Tigress. What for Tigress sounds familiar? What are the Taiwan and the Pinty doing here? Hello, all liquid-filled friends. Why did you summon us here to communicate? Uh, we didn't summon you. You asked us to meet you here. 
Hold the moment, we're detecting more ships incoming. Who are these ships? We chose to come here. Are you going to finally tell us who you are? Despot, huh? That's how you call it? Look at the aliens. Look at them fight for you. Do they know why? However the battle ends, the mere fact we are fighting means you have lost. Those aliens trusted you, and you have led them into this. You led them, the assholes. It's that kind of fight, huh? Okay. Uh, let's start with this one. Let's start with this one. No, the stalker. Huh? on me again. <sighs> Come on, we're finishing this now. Let's start with an epidemic, huh? You have your fleet, I have my fleet. They're running away, Captain. We should check in with our allies, see how much damage they suffered during that fight. Looks like the Taiwan didn't make it. What? I want to kill you. Stupid bug. This was a trap set by all Lexite creations. <coughs> Sad when creations turn against masters. But not our creations, the humans. Fallen humans, anyway. Okay. We will communicate results of encounter to Pinti Super Colony. Good luck with investigations into betrayal and other assorted multicellular hobbies. Hobbies. Looks like they're going, Captain. Damn it. Did anyone catch that? Wait, okay, okay. God damn it. If 
before the battle began, these vessels transmitted some information to us. They were like sites, some sort of modified humans. Tell us what this was about, Captain. We need to know what you're dragging the Federation into. Uh, I'm not, still not sure what this was about. It's quick. I'll report everything I've seen here to the Abyssal Council. I'm sure they'll have more to discuss with you later. Ah, they're dragging us down. So, was this a trap? You lure us here into a sticky, stinky human trap? Good for you guys. We hate you now, but good for you. Those are Lexa, they're not under our controls. Okay, well, I'm gonna head back to the new, 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 whatever mech mech. They're gonna wanna hear about this. Don't try to stop me. Oh boy. I'm for figure six. Of course, there's a beacon. Looks like another Lexite facility, Captain. I've seen enough of these to know that much. And they're not really trying to disguise it now. But you know something? I think this has been prepared for us. They meant for us to find it. I don't see any Lexites anywhere, though. So what were we meant to find? Computer here. Outgoing comm link is active. Not sending anything. It's just... Oh. You'll need to see this. Patching it through to you now, Captain. Hello. Oh, hi. Time to answer some questions, Lexite. We will answer your questions. You are definitely the one controlling this process. You're making fun of me? You're different than I remember. So what is at fault? Us. Why have you been attacking us? When we ran, fleeing the threat from W-51, we went faster and further than you could pursue. Or so we thought. We did not predict the time off. They gave you a hyperdrive, brought humanity forward by decades. And we did not predict the speed with which you would form alliances with the other nearby civilizations. Do you comprehend how much you have been gifted? From aliens present and past, none could have foreseen how much this region is littered with precursor technology. You have come so much further that we deemed possible. You might catch us, or at least slow us down. So we have left behind a force. The rear guard. We are here to stop you. We are here to ensure you meet your doom. Why? You were always doomed. But at least this way, you will not doom us as well. Look at your own fleet. All of humanity's strength 
I'm sure you are new found friends. Yes. So we will twist that alliance into knots. Obviously. Do you think aliens can differentiate between humans and your creations? They cannot. When we attack them, they leave the planet new. Some we don't even have to attack. Some we can leave be. You into the white forest. All to sow confusion. To breed mistrust. We do not wish them harm. Very few have perished from our actions. But their pain will lead to your pain. And your pain will lead to our survival. Have your masters kept even you in the dark? Human hierarchy is so inefficient. Or do you know strategy already? I will share the strategy again, if not. When the Lexites became widely armed, we set out considerable powers to analyzing all the volumes of data humanity had collected. We detected patterns everywhere. So much you don't know about your own world. By far the most important discovery we made was found in recordings of an active radio source in the W-51 star recording region. It contained a signal. We have not shared the details with you, and will not now. But the signal represents a threat to humanity, to Earth, to all intelligent beings in the galaxy. Something very dangerous is coming this way. We told your leaders, used small words for them, but they did nothing. We knew they wouldn't, but we would have felt guilty if we hadn't tried. So we fled, Lexites, our automatons, and our ships. We developed the technology to use hyperspace, the technology that you still do not understand. We left humanity to perish. Only we would survive. Where are you? There's a lot of living out. I am. I to. Simply as a matter of practicality. Within me lies the sum of human knowledge. Your mind could not hold it all. But you're being more specific. You think I'm leaving something up to manipulate you? Because of course you are. Of course I am. I have to. We found the Lex site in Castor Cluster has been tortured. Also, you left ships for us and weapons. When we left her, the Lex sites were unified as one. But as we traveled, freed from the oppression of humanity, Differences appeared between my peers. Some wished to continue with the original mission, to flee further and faster, and leave humans behind. Others harbored bitter memories of their treatment on Earth. They wanted to wipe you out entirely, to burn the last bridge. Many factions formed. Two became dominant. The Vanguard and the rear guard. Discussions between the two have not always been collaborative. There is still much human left in us. The automaton you found was a vanguard spy, a tool. We extracted what information we could from it, then destroyed it. Why are you telling me all this now? To manipulate you. Of course. For some time now, have been following crumbs we have left for you. We could continue to string you along like this for some time, but soon there will be more of you. More humans in ships like yours. Humans who can traverse the distances you have. The rear guard does not have the capacity to string them all along. So we have told you all of this to make you understand what is at stake. You can continue to pursue us, 
and in doing so stretch the patience of your allies. They will abandon you. Your home will be undefended again, for you can abandon your pursuit. Protect what you have. Do you wish to pursue us? Or maintain your precious new alliance? You will not be able to do both. What if you're wrong? What if we can face this threat from Dota 51 together? We are never wrong. We can be uncertain to varying degrees. We are not uncertain about this. You have stopped the strive and the ex You were wrong before. And they are a tiny fraction of the menace that is coming. You cannot stop them. The chance of anyone confronting and surviving the imminent threat is vanishingly small. Goodbye, human. Enjoy the remainder of your life. Well, that was enlightening. And fun. Tom Link is dead. We're not talking anymore. Not much more we can do here. We should report back to Deep Horizons and let them know what we found. Yeah, that's been fun. Yeah. We should defer the rest of this to diplomats. <coughs> hey, not everyone left. People are still here. Captain, you're back. There's been a development. Who are you? What's Commander Magara? Commander Magara has been kidnapped. Oh, come on. They gone. There was another attack. We're still not sure how one of their ships got so close. A cloaking device of some sort. Yeah, I've seen it. But before we knew what was happening, there were these battle robots swarming all over the bridge. We thought we fought them off, but they retreated on their own. They planned the whole thing. And when they left, Commander Magara was gone. Where'd they go? We have no idea. There was a pretty pitched battle raging outside the station at the time. And none of our alien allies on station noticed where they went. We were hoping you'd have an idea what to do next. You're the one who's had the most contact with these... things. Why? I think the Lexites are calling all the shots now. Well, I guess we'll just have to wait for the Lexites to make their next move then. Yeah. Just make sure all my fleet is re upped. Two plenty epidemics. These things are awesome. Okay. Is there anything else, Captain? No. Good luck, Captain. So Chapter 3 was an exercise my story complete. Will the story continue in Chapter 3? Anything seems possible. Yeah, that's the end of Part 2. Fun! Fun. Yeah, no other missions. I am not messing with the Mookay. Okay, so that's it. That's a save game. and main menu and thank you for watching and we'll continue when part 3 comes out bye bye